Okay, now that we have inspected the the pistons itself for major damage, now I'm going to investigate the valves if they are straight and not bent. And I marked my my push rods, which we are actually bent. And it is valve number six and seven. There it is, seven. Okay, and now I will show you how to remove the valve springs with this uh, valve spring compressor, which I think is a very good tool. And, and I will show you how we do that. Okay, first of all, you have to put in the hooks into the spring and then turn, turn this wheel. Look that the compressor is always in the center, which is now not the case. Okay. Always look that the compressor is in center. Okay. Now you see it's already loose, and if the valve keep sticking into these uh, two metal pieces just give this a little hit and you see they are loose okay then take a magnet compress this and pull out these two pieces and you're good to go Remove the spring. Okay, you keep you can keep this in one piece. Okay, and now I am able to okay, this an O ring. There we go. Looks pretty good. Yes. Just wanted to see if this one is bent. But I could put it in. And also, getting in very easy. I guess there is nothing that is bent. Okay. And clean, yes, actually, because of the long delay and the opened valve car, or it was not open, but there were no no bolts inside which were pressing the gasket onto the head, and now that's the result. Some, some rust, but I think the 
deal. Okay. Also the spring. Okay, put that back. that's not standard because this is a aftermarket head and in the original on the original head I guess there is no gasket but okay put that back put these little pieces inside Press it and okay, we're in now. Loosen up this spring compressor. In, cor in the correct place, which is not the case. Give it a little hit with the rubber hammer. Doesn't work. Compress it a little bit and okay, now it's in place. Thing is in place. Okay, that was this part, and that is how you could remove valves and compress the springs. This is actual a dual spring type uh, valve system because inside there is a second smaller uh, spring. Okay. Good. That was this part. Number six I will also check. And then I will clean up the surface of the of this cylinder head and mount the new gasket and put the head back on the block. Okay. Thanks for watching.